If you're a freelance videographer and you're thinking about getting into more of the event work, but you don't know what gear to buy or you're questioning maybe did I even buy the correct gear? Well, for this video, I'm going to share with you some gears that I use on pretty much all my event jobs or even gear that I recommend that you should buy to make your event videography go smoothly. Let's talk about it. First thing you're going to need is a camera and my camera choice in particular is the Sony FX6. It's just honestly overall an amazing camera. It fits my workflow perfectly. It has all the features that I'm looking for and that I need in the type of work that I do between internal NDs, all the XLR ports, SDI, uh, picture catch recording, all these fancy features that this camera has, the full frame capabilities, the image quality, the form factor, everything about this camera makes it super easy to film various different styles of events. And even if you're a person who's looking to get into more documentary work, this camera is a great camera. Now, I'm not gonna boast too much about this camera because I made plenty of videos on my channel. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, well, lurk through my channel and you'll find some interesting videos about this particular camera. Now moving on to item number two, and that's going to be my Sigma 24 to 70. And it's a lens that I wouldn't necessarily say I always use, but it's a good versatile lens. Now, ironically, a 24 to 70 isn't my favorite zoom lens. And honestly, a 24 to 70 is my least favorite lens, but I got it because of the 2.8 aperture. When you're filming indoor events, that's something that you really need. You wanna have the lowest aperture as possible because typically indoor events, lighting isn't the best so you want to be able to be wide open and finding that perfect zoom lens is still yet for me to find i still haven't found it yet but the 24 70 essentially for me what i need it covered for it does the job typically i do throw on a set of primes but having to switch back and forth has costed me missing some shots in certain different style events so having a good versatile zoom lens is something that I recommend if you're gonna get into event work because everything is fast paced, everything is constantly moving. You have to be quick on your feet. You have to capture the moment because the moment only lasts for a few seconds. So having that versatility is something very important if you wanna get into event work. Moving on to item number three, which I don't have with me, but it's going to be a drone. Typically outdoor events, I do get asked quite a bit for a drone whenever it comes to filming outdoors. I had a drone, but for a while now, it's been crashed, it's been broken. I never got it fixed. Typically when you're filming outdoor events, the client requests a drone. They want that high shot. They want that wide shot. They wanna show the entire event. So utilizing a drone is a great asset when it comes to outdoor event videography. Now, is it necessary? Not exactly, because there has been outdoor events where they asked for a drone, but I didn't have a drone. So it's not necessarily something that is required that you have to have, but it is a good thing to add to your kit, especially if you're going to do a lot of outdoor events. For me, the biggest thing whenever I do events or honestly any job that I get. So for me, I typically want to have all the gear in my kit that is typically the most asked for in the type of work that I do just so I don't have to keep renting out gear every single time. If you already have it, it just makes your life easier and you can honestly charge a little bit more. Obviously just include it into your day rate. You don't have to mention it to the client, but having the right tools for the right job that you do will essentially make your life easier. Moving on to the next item, it's going to be a Aperture Amaran 60D. Now, the reason why I love this for my kit when I do events is because this is not an item that I have to bring on every single event job, but there is some events that I do get where the client wants a really quick interview with maybe someone who won an award or just a quick interview of a guest speaker or whatever it may be. Having the Amaran 60D, as small of a light it is and how portable it can be, it just makes it so much easier to set up for a quick interview. When I'm not having to set up like I am right now for this YouTube video of all these different lights, if I just need one quick light just to do a quick standing talking head interview, I'm able to do that with the 60D. It's so small, it's so compact, it's so portable, and it's a great tool for me to have in my kit whenever I get those event jobs where the client says, hey, I want you to film the entire event, but I also wanna do two quick, maybe 20 second, 30 second interviews that are just really fast. Setting up that light just makes your life so much easier. And again, it's not a requirement because not a lot of events want that. You can just typically just use the house lights if they wanna be as natural as possible. But if they do say, okay, you got a little time to set up for a quick interview, having that light on deck without them having to ask you for it, just to give them that extra wow factor is gonna 
honestly benefit you in the long term moving on to the next item for me is going to be a easy rig that is a tool i feel like and i would prefer to use over a gimbal any day of the week easy rigs are just for me they just they just work better for me they just honestly have the fx6 having it fully rigged out it being kind of heavy at times standing around with it for eight hours a day running around on my feet all day at an event filming it can honestly weigh a big toll on your back and it can kill your arms as well and if i'm given the option and if i get a job where i have to bring a gimbal which i often try to wiggle my way out of which in most cases i am able to wiggle my way out of that i feel like the easy rig is the way to go the biggest gripe and issue that i personally have had with the easy rig is it's not made for walking shots if you're walking with the easy rig and trying to get a shot like that it's not made for that you're going to notice that there's going to be a very annoying bounce the biggest solution that i found in trying to smooth that out when it happens is putting a little pressure down on your camera when walking with it and that is pretty much it quick disclaimer any piece of gear that i talk about in this video i'm going to link it down in the description below if you purchase anything through my amazon affiliate link i'm going to get a small kickback at no additional cost to you so if you want to help the channel out you want to help me out and you're interested in anything that i'm talking about check the link in my description purchase whatever you want okay so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next video i'll be on to bon journey.